What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Festive Fitness. So starting this video with a great news for every bodybuilding fan out there. The Persian bodybuilding news media, Persian Genetics has just confirmed that the reigning Arnold 2024 champion Hadi Chopan has been issued his UK visa and he is on his way to UK as we speak. So this was also reposted by AG Kali on his Instagram. And the Persian outlet claimed that they talked directly to the source who is Hadi's manager. So things again have gotten really interesting as us fans will be able to witness another rematch between number 2 and number 3 bodybuilder in the world. Honestly, that show could have been boring if Hadi wasn't there. It would have been Samson Dauda all day long. I mean, no one in this lineup can actually beat Samson Dauda or give him a serious run for his money. So, talking about Samson Dauda, what's the news from Samson's camp? Well, he has been low on low carbs for most part of the week and today they are gonna start to load up. But the strategy is gonna be the same as we saw at Proc. His wife is gonna be moderate in terms of the amount of carbs Samson's gonna take to fill out his frame. And that approach worked really well for him in both those shows post Olympia 2023, Romania Pro and Proc. Guys, this is it, man. We're running in. We've got pre-judging tomorrow evening, finals Friday night, and I've been on low carb all week, and I'm starving. My eyes are about to burst, and I can't, yeah. I, it's been a long week, but now they're gonna get my food up slowly today, and we really are taking it slowly. We don't need to push anywhere near as many cars as we usually do. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty much just sticking to my normal meals by a little bit. I think my normal meals were extra cup of rice. That's it. But we we'll play by every rest of the day. We know that just by doing that alone for me, it's not to keep me, you know, progressing fully. So will this last minute flight impact Hadi's pre-judging look tomorrow? Well, Hadi Rembrandt is a master of these last minute manipulations and is gonna work out some formula to get rid of the water just like he did at the Olympia 2020 when Hadi was in kind of a similar situation. So what did you guys think? Who did you guys have winning here at the Arnold? I think Hadi is gonna take it again and he is gonna dive right back into the offseason for the Olympia 2024. Big battle that is coming in October. Let's talk about another guy who is going to be competing here at the Arnold UK and his two days out update from this year's show, Antoine Wieland, who is right now feeling that pain of all those bodybuilders who compete overseas because they have to adjust their bodies to a different time zone. They have to adjust their sleep cycle and most importantly, they have to pick their body according to that time zone. And that is one of the most challenging tasks for any bodybuilder. So looking at his update now, he looks absolutely ripped. Especially for the time when these updates were taken. Because these updates are from right after he landed in UK. So he has got some drying out and some filling up to do. Now for Antoine to be more competitive and place as high as top 3. Which was originally his goal for Arnold Ohio as well. He must maintain his fullness throughout his chest, throughout his body and throughout the weekend. Because his chest is the main thing that deflates in comparison. So Antoine has one of the most impressive legs out there. And one of the most impressive calves as well. Plus, he has good set of abs as well. But he has a little wider waist, which obviously hurts him, especially when you have this kind of lineup. And I do think that a lot of that is related to the age factor as well, as Antoine has been competing for well over a decade now. But his story is just so inspiring. He overcame a drug addiction, then having those bicep tears, and then coming back to compete at the highest level again. Not to mention that hard problem that he had to face back in 2021. So coming back to compete at the highest level after all these setbacks, that is truly incredible, that is truly admirable. So I don't know how long Antoine is going to continue to compete. So he is enjoying every bit of this ride. The goal is to qualify for the Olympia 2024. And Antoine hinted that he's going to do Detroit Pro as well. So it looks like it is going to be a long season ahead for him. Next up, we have an update from James Hollingshead. So last year, we heard about Roman versus insane carbs of protocol. And this time it is James Hollingsworth with his totally and completely unconventional approach. But he is still very confident that this approach works for him the best. He literally wants to spill over two days out of the show and then he wanna manipulate things one day before the show so that he peaks right so that he appears more fuller, more denser. Now we all know it is a miss or hit approach but it might work extremely well as well. So he did more or less the same for the Arnold Classic Ohio as well. And as far as the prejudging is concerned, he did one hell of a job. He looked extremely good at the prejudging. He wasn't only big, but he was ripped as well. So here for the Arnold UK, he wants to bring more sharpness. He wants to bring more fullness. 
And that is a great approach for him. That is the right approach, especially if he can execute it to perfection. So James has that dense grainy look to his physique. So this is him playing to his strengths. But there is obviously this risk of backfire with this approach. This can very well backfire as well. He can appear all soft and watery on the stage with this approach. And if something like that happens, it is going to be a complete disaster. Because James Hollingshead doesn't have the other attributes, like great flow or better aesthetics, so he will be marked down for sure. Now, props to him for being this transparent to the fans, and hopefully he is going to bring a bad look here, compared to what we saw in Ohio. Michael Double is up next. He himself was more disappointed than the fans that he wasn't able to present his personal best in Ohio. So Michael Dabul not being at his best still makes him top 5 in a lineup like that. So how would he do when he is at his best, when he is 100% on, when he is truly peaked to perfection? So we're gonna have to wait only 2 more days to find that out. So Michael Dabul has been digging really deep for this one, since Arnold Classic Ohio actually. So as for Michael, he is already at that grade limit. So no last minute stuff necessary to make the weird cutoff tomorrow. Unlike what we saw for the Arnold Classic Ohio, where he had to go to some considerable lengths to make that weird cutoff. So Michael Dabul has this ability to surprise everyone at this Arnold Classic UK as well. But the thing is he has to be at his all time best. He might not have the best shape out there. Out of all the top guys, he might be the least classic guy. But we have witnessed him making some very good conditioned guys look all soft when they stand right next to him. Now his back in particular at this show has to be on point in order for him to stand out against guys like Ors, Breon and Wesley. And Wesley Weezer's winning in Ohio. That has made this battle so damn interesting because he was beaten by everyone including Michael Dabul multiple times before this year's Arnold. So Michael Dabul, Ors, Breon, they're all gonna be looking for redemption here. Let's talk about some more classic physique updates. The king of classic physique Chris Bumstead reveals his off-scene physique, something we rarely see from him, something he really does. So the Olympia is like 7 months away, which is still plenty of time for him to get ready. Personally, I think that is a very decent look. So with a solid pump, he would look a lot better. But you guys can still see all the muscles. He's looking pretty big considering he takes extreme precautions after the Olympia after that big shoot, especially in terms of gear, in terms of PEDs. And the reason is his autoimmune disease which he had a few years ago. So throughout the 5 years of his reign as a champion, he has battled 3 different physiques. And I think we can all agree that Ramondino in 2023, he gave him the closest fight out of all these guys. The Olympia 2019 where Chris Bumstead won his first Olympia title. That was against Brian Ansley. That also could have gone either way. That was extremely close. And so was his battle with Terence Sofen in 2021. So this year in 2024, Chris Bumstead could be facing a completely different physique as his biggest rival could very well be Wesley Weezers. A guy who is taller than him, a guy who is as wide as him if not wider. Not to mention the amount of muscles Wesley has and the muscularity that he displayed at this year's Arnold Classic Ohio. But no matter whether it's from Mundino or Wesley Weezers, if Chris Bumstead is on like he was back in 2022, he is gonna be extremely hard to beat, next to impossible to beat. Now we have seen in the past 2-3 to three years, he always had some sort of an injury leading into the Olympia, but somehow he is still able to pull it off. So Ramondino is gonna come back really hard from this defeat. He said that he had the most challenging prep of his entire career at this year's Arnold, and he is already back on the plan for the Olympia 2024. So do let me know what you guys think, can Ramondino come back better, and again be the guy who's gonna challenge Chris Bumstead at the Olympia 2024. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.